Luis Castillo ended up taking the loss last night in a game the Mariners lost 4-2 to the Detroit Tigers. Mariners scored one run early and then one run in the ninth, and unfortunately, that was not enough. Five hits, two walks, 14 strikeouts for the Mariners. We looked lost up there. A lot of uncompetitive at-bats that just were far too many strikeouts. 14 strikeouts is not something that you can do when you're not slugging. And unfortunately, the Mariners didn't really slug yesterday, uh, as evidenced by four total bases being the most uh, bases total bases for anybody in the um, lineup. We kept running into the same problems we've run into all season long, and that's we can't really string together the base hits and play the small ball when we strike out. We can do it. The problem is the strikeouts. When the strikeouts are as high as they were in double digits with 14 last night, you're not going to have enough base runners. You're not controlling the strike zone like the team wants to do. And what ends up happening is you have Luke Rayleigh hitting a solo home run with nobody on base. And then Jorge Polanco being the one in the one for three with runners in scoring position. Now, one for three with runners in scoring position, that's 33%. That's, that's actually higher than average. But the problem is there weren't enough runners in scoring position for us to do anything. Like, if we had gotten more runners in scoring position, you... You would expect the Mariners to have potentially won the game. The um, the Tigers had 10 hits, a couple walks, and less than 10 strikeouts. That's the problem. And our pitching staff is usually pretty good at inducing strikeouts. Now, tonight, it's Scooball versus George. It's going to be a pitcher's duel. I was not expecting yesterday to be one of those games where the Mariners need to just rely on small ball. I figured it was going to be one of those games where the Mariners were going to slug, have a lot of doubles, triples, maybe home, doubles, home runs, maybe a triple in there. It's T-Mobile Park. You can't really guarantee that somebody will hit a triple at T-Mobile Park. But no, what ended up happening was the Mariners ended up not getting base hits together, striking out far too much. Justin Turner got hit on the hand. X-rays are negative, but still, that was one of our big acquisitions at the trade dead deadline that could have ended up having a really horrible, horrible effect on what might have happened because we would have ended up having to probably platoon Luke Rayleigh and... Um... Tyler Locklear at first base, which would have made us so much worse uh, at first base. But thankfully, x-rays are negative. He might be out today, but he probably won't miss more than the day. Um, it's one of those things where it's like you got to just think about the way you get runs. And the way you get runs is by having a offense that gets on base base. And if you don't get on base because you're striking out or just all sorts of issues, you're not going to win the baseball game. Sure, you might win one nothing if you have a really good um, pitching staff like we do, but we need to actually get the runs. And Luis Castillo has uh, arguably been the worst starter of the Mariners all season. He was our opening day starter, and I feel like he's been the worst uh, which is unfortunate because he's a good pitcher. It's just out of the five, he's the worst. And he has days like yesterday where four runs get given up overall. And uh, unfortunately, things happen. So not the end of the world. Uh, Houston did win last night. So the division leads back down to a half a game. So that's interesting uh, with everything that's happening. So yeah, not the end of the world though.